The fear of flooding is growing as the snowpack continues to melt and feed the rising Hamas River. News 13's Natalie Wattis shows you what it looks like there today. She is live this afternoon in San Isidro. Dean, since yesterday, the Hemez River has flooded campgrounds. And as you can see behind me right now, it is up on Highway 4, and it's turning some people's fields into marshlands. You can see how far it went. You can see how far it went. We're trying to stop it because we didn't want it to go underneath the trailer to have it sink. It flooded my neighbor's um, field over there, and all this flooded out. We, we're bringing in... We had a backhoe come in here. One of my neighbors came in here with the backhoe and he put dirt down right here so he could stop the water from going back more. John Pirro says the water was so high yesterday it reached the highway and in some cases was as high as truck doors. The Sandoval County manager tells me what we're seeing here as the Hemis River floods is what's known as a sheet flood. The water rushing so fast and with so much volume, it's jumping the banks and saturating everything in its path. The gauge near Hemes Springs shows the river is still about seven and a half feet deep with about six times as much water flowing through it as a week ago. Now the county manager says they have three major issues right now. Imminent flooding in San Isidro, potential flooding in Hemes Springs, and making sure that the wastewater treatment plant doesn't overflow and pollute the river. You've got water that has gotten into the, the sewer system here in the village and is overwhelming the pumps down at the, the sewage plant. And that threatens to overtop and then dump effluent into the river. EPA is on their way out here to evaluate the river water. We are not recommending that people go recreate in the river water, particularly south of the village. Johnson emphasizes the drinking water is fine, but residents are advised to use their sewer systems as minimally as possible as they try to keep the system working. Now, emergency officials tell me that sandbags are available at the fire stations in Jemez Springs and in San Isidro for people who want to protect their property. Back to you. All right, Natalie, thank you. Emergency officials are also monitoring bridges in the area. Highway 4 right now is currently open.